Each person is aware of themselves as a representative of a certain nation. So comes the concept of nationality. Nationality is a term that defines a person's belonging to a certain nation. A nation is large if it has more than one million people. About 310 such nations are known. According to the national composition of the population, there are three types of countries. Monoethnic, biethnic, and polyethnic. Countries where more than 90% of the population are representatives of one nation are considered monoethnic. They include most of the countries of Europe, Latin America, the Arab countries of the Arabian Peninsula, and North Africa. Biethnic countries are countries where two nations make up the absolute majority of the population. This type includes Canada, where Anglo-Canadians and French Canadians predominate, Belgium, where Flemish and Walloons live, Cyprus, where there are Greek Cypriots and Turkish Cypriots, and some other countries. Most countries in the world are polyethnic. They prevail in Asia and Africa, excluding their northern parts. The first place in the world, according to this indicator, takes India, which is home to more than 150 nations and nationalities. There are almost as many of them in Indonesia. The United States is also a polyethnic state. In Europe, such countries are Switzerland, Great Britain, Spain, Bosnia and Herzegovina, and Moldova. It is precisely in countries with a polyethnic population that inter-ethnic conflicts often intensify. Nowadays, there are people in nations that, due to historical reasons, do not have their own states. These are millions of people who have their own language, culture, and customs. But the most important thing is that their homeland is missing. The largest nation without a state is the Kurds. Their number, including diasporas, is from 20 to 40 million people. They live in Turkey, Syria, Iraq, and Iran. Contrary to some misconceptions, there are mostly Muslims of non-Arab origin. Scholars attribute ethnic proximity to the Kurds with the Azerbaijani, Armenian, Georgian, and Jewish people. There are about 20 million representatives of Sikh people in the world. Sikhs come from the northwestern part of India, the state of Punjab, which borders Pakistan. Despite the fact that Sikhs are under Muslim and Hindu influence, they retain their own unique cultural identity. Sikhs practice Sikhism, a religion based on such qualities as tolerance and kindness. The third largest ethnic group without a state is the Gypsies. This is a nomadic group of peoples originally from the northwestern India. Their number, according to various estimates, is from 9 to 12 million people. Eurasia, Africa, Australia, North and South America. Are there any places left in the modern world where gypsies don't live? Although they themselves prefer to be called Roma, which means man in many official sources, gypsies are called Roma too. Uyghurs are the indigenous people of East Turkestan, located in the far west of the People's Republic of China. There are about 10 million of them in the world. They are Turkic people who practice Sunni Islam. In the first millennium, the Uyghur people created one of the largest countries in the history of mankind, the Turkic Khaganate, under the influence of which Asia of the Middle Ages was formed. The Chinese government accused the Uyghurs of religious propaganda. An increased military presence has been established in the region, video surveillance has been installed for local residents, and Uyghur passports are kept by the police. 